The biggest challenge, well, you know, I think I would break this down into multiple challenges. Um, the first is defining the most valuable data set that we can receive in advance. Um, and then I think taking that defined data set and then refining the quality of it. Not all data is created equal. And so just getting the data in and of itself uh, would not necessarily be useful unless it's specific data points that are useful in identifying and targeting high risk shipments and then the quality of that data being consistent. The second part of that, even if we can receive that data in that specified sort of format that we need, is then operationalizing it, right? Taking that data and putting it into a format that's useful to the operator, right? So we get the data, we digest it, we interject it into our systems, we come out with targets, but then how do we get those targets to the people that are looking at the mail uh, in real time to effectively interdict those high risk shipments? You know, I think both of those challenges would probably be the most critical in uh, our effective uh, implementation of the STOP Act. How do forms such as this help? Uh, you know, today I think I heard some really great comments from postal operators on what their challenges are in terms of how they're getting that data and then how easy it is or how difficult it is, I think, to transmit it to us. And I think one of the things that perhaps we often lose sight of is how this impacts the customer, right? Uh, in my world, I always feel as though we're protecting the public from things that if we're doing our job that they never know about, right? They never know that these narcotics or these consumer safety products or these IPR merchandise were ever in the mail to begin with because we're doing our job. But we also have to be cognizant and mindful of how our actions impact their ability to ship those things that are normal in the mail. So conferences such as this, where we get to collaborate with those individuals, get to hear from them directly about what their concerns are, what their capabilities and their limitations are, I think are absolutely critical in our ability to, to move forward with what we believe is the the best, most appropriate way um, to secure commerce and facilitate legitimate trade and travel.